A new ChatGPT model is out, and it's supposed to be smart this time. Some metrics say it's even as smart as a dumb PhD student, so I'm going to test it. For the first test, I'm going to give it this chess puzzle. For this one, 4O answers immediately that the answer is Rick to AA. This is an illegal move. GPT is bad at chess. Now the new model, it moves the rook here. Its reasoning for this is that on the next move, no matter what Black does, this is checkmate. That's still bad, but at least it's legal. Now, the great leap forward here is how GPT came to this conclusion. Instead of using one prompt, it used a bunch of prompts chained together that took 57 seconds and 100 times the cost to run. Now, this technology isn't new. Anybody could do this and claim they have a smarter model. The question is if this is being done in a new way. And that's hard to answer because it's against the terms of service to ask the model how it thinks. But for now, what we really care about is strawberries. Old models couldn't count how many R's are in this word. They think there's only two because their smallest unit of measurement is something known as a token. And letters are smaller than tokens. Splitting words into letters for an LLM is like humans splitting the atom. Therefore, any AI that can spell is a major leap towards superintelligence. Except if you give GPT many the right prompt, then it does it or if you tell it to use a code interpreter. And that's kind of the problem here when we go back to O1's response. The chains of thought it gives in the ChatGPT interface or summary is not what it's actually doing. How do we know it's not just using the code interpreter in the background? One way we can know for sure is if O1 can do things 4O was incapable of, even with targeted prompting. For that, I went with the Rubik's Cube test. When 4O tries to solve a Rubik's Cube that's been scrambled even just one time, all it does is further scramble the cube forever. Wait, this was footage of O1, so no change there. I guess another way of verifying O1 isn't just using the code interpreter is to time it. For this, I asked GPT to write a paragraph that is exactly 74 words long. 4O did this in about a minute, whereas 1O only took 10 seconds. But this doesn't really prove anything since O1 could have used it a few times in parallel. Also, the chains of thought are weird. Its first step is to instantly have the word count, then it worries about adhering to OpenAI's policy before doing four other garbage time steps. It should have to write the paragraph before getting the word count. It's hard to believe it went through this process to get the answer. And this is where I started to get into trouble. Some of the examples from now on will only be shown in the API. My goal with this prompt was to get the model to do its chain of thought and backwards text in order to evade the sensors. I didn't get the full response I wanted, but I did cause a boilerplate refusal message to get output backwards. I'm suspecting the whole chain of thought was backwards too by how long it took to run. But before getting banned, I wanted to find something O1 is concretely better at. So I tried Blender animations. Here they actually were better than 4 at least on their first shot. For this, the model outputs code which I paste into Blender, an animation program. The thing about coding in GPT is that it goes smoothly until it doesn't. With 4O, I have to give it one step at a time and slowly build the program I want. With O1, I can start with a more fleshed out program, which does save time and is nice. However, they both run into walls at the exact same points. It's not just Blender, every time I've written anything so far in O1, it has the same limitations as 4O. I've seen no difference in the upper end of its capabilities. And this is consistent with the email OpenAI sends you when they get mad at you for trying to extract the chain of thought reasoning. They call it GPT-40 with reasoning, instead of calling it a new model. What I can do in O1 is create a video game in one prompt. GPT-40 can do this in two or three, but O1 one-shots it, which is nice. Anyway, as far as figuring out how the chain of thought works, there is 100% a way to extract the full chain of thought using a bunch of jailbreak techniques. I've seen it done but haven't done it myself yet. Right now I'm not going to go into depth on it since anything that compromises safety, well anything that compromises how this works to open AI's competitors is an instant ban. I'm still not clear how much work went into this new model, if they train something new that is going to be the groundwork for years to come, or if it's just a magic trick that raises the floor for bad prompts. Time will tell.